Hi, how well do you know your students? Do you know that knowing your learners is very important because it will help you to guide and lead them towards their learning? For today's video, I want us to look at nine types of learners in a classroom. Are you ready? Let's go! The first type of learner in a classroom is the slacker. Yeah, the slacker. I wouldn't want to call this type of students lazy, rather I'll use the word slacker. Yeah, this kind of student is hardly seen around, but he or she usually appears during exams. <laughs> that is funny. So the first type is the slacker. It's very important for you to know uh, this type of students because when you know them, you get to understand how to better manage them. And the next type of student in a classroom is the leader. The leader has a natural tendency to take control over things. He or she has that innate, inborn talent to like take control in the absence of a teacher. So if you're a teacher, you have these kind of students that are like leaders in the classroom. They take initiative. It's very good for you. That is impressive. And the third type of student in a classroom is the attention seeker. The attention seeker or you want to call this person the drama doll attention seekers or drama doll yeah we all must have must have come across students like this like there are those type of students that we move behind you the teacher every now and then wherever you go they are behind you they always try to talk to you they will seek for your attention and that of other teachers and colleagues by all possible means that's why they are known as the attention seeker or the drama dolls. And it's not bad to have these kind of students in the classroom, honestly, I must tell you, because they make the environment fun. And the next type of student in the classroom, that is the food, is the overactive. The overactive. These kind of students, they have the enthusiasm, you know. There is that huge enthusiasm to learn. So they are able to do things out of expectation way out of expectation they go an extra mile to make sure whatever they do is right partly because they want you the teacher to be happy to place you and partly because they want to feel satisfied with themselves that what they have actually done is quite good and the next type of student in the classroom is the celebrity you have this kind of students who are like naturally gifted like they know how to pull friends. They know how to bring people closer. These kind of students, they usually participate in activities like sports in school. Yeah, they are the celebrities. And unfortunately, when it comes to academic work, they are not that bright, but they are well loved and liked by all. And again, the other type of student in the classroom is the shy ones, you know, those that are very shy and timid. They are hardly noticed. They are always behind, you know. They tend to, to, to pull away from the rest of the group because they are very shy. But mind you, do not under, underestimate this type of students because they can be very intelligent and bright when it comes to academic work. There is the joker. I like this one. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you something. Uh, in my school where I work, I have a lot of students like this, you know. They have the natural gift to make jokes. They can actually crack good jokes, which makes everyone laugh. Although they are fond of doing this during a class session, you might be teaching and you're very serious to get your message across. This is actually when they want to make jokes, which is not quite good. But then, some few moments of fun wouldn't cause anything with it. And the next type is the loner. The loner always stay alone. Don't be confused between the loner and the shy ones, no, loners, this is their tendency. They want to be alone, you know. When they are alone, they are comfortable. Being alone is their comfort zone. So when, 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 when loners are alone, they tend to work and focus. They concentrate very well, which is quite good. So this is another type of student in a classroom, the loner. And then you have dumbos. <laughs> Yeah, dumbos. I heard this word from my colleagues. It's quite funny. Dumbos are uh, used to refer to students who absolutely know nothing. You, the teacher, you're wondering why they are in school. Even they themselves don't know why they are in school. Like they can't do anything. They are just there. They are just there, I guess, to fill up the seats. This group of students as well, you have to take note of them. It's very important. And then you have the extremely hard working ones. These type of students, they are in between. 
they are not too intelligent neither are they too dull no they are just in between hard works compensate for their lack of being intelligent like they dedicate time they commit time to do whatever they are doing and this usually makes them to succeed these are the nine types of students that can be found in your or that can be found in your classroom this type of nine students if you go out you will see them in your classroom once again i'll rush over the list the first type of students that you can see in the classroom is the slacker you can actually see a slacker in the classroom and like i said the slacker he or she is hardly noticeable he or she is hardly around but this time of uh, this kind of student will usually appear during exams and there is a leader the leader has this inborn this innate uh, uh, leadership qualities that helps him or her to take control over things so there are students who are natural born leaders and you have the attention seeker or the drama dolls these type of students will do everything to seek for the attention of the teachers and you also have the overactive ones i'll call them the enthusiasts you know they have this huge enthusiasm to learn and get things right and there is the extremely hard worker who goes an extra mile to work and make sure whatever he or she is doing is right you also have the celebrity these ones are found in school sports you know drama clubs they are there they seek for their attention they are usually good looking when they walk by they walk and pass by everyone notices them they are quite good so they are known as the celebrities and of course <clears throat> the final three you have the joker those that are there for fun they create fun and make sure the whole class is smiling you know they help to take away the stress the tension in the classroom and you have the loner the loner prefers to work alone he or she is very comfortable to be alone and finally we have dumbos or the dumb ones they don't know why they're in school even you the teacher when you teach you tend to ask yourself like why is he or she in school Hi, it's on this note that we come to the end of today's video. I hope this presentation helps you to understand the types of different learners in your classroom. Of course, knowing your learners will help you to better manage your learning environment. Stay tuned and see you next time. Bye-bye.